the top for us tonight. We report on them extensively and have even brought you live reports of game rooms being seized or shut down. But what happens to that illegal money once it's been taken in? Our Josh Maxwell spoke with city and county law officers to get the answer to that question. He also found out what they are seeing as they continue to crack down on illegal game room operations. Josh is here live now with more. When it comes to illegal activity, it's a slippery slope determining what happens to that funding once it's seized. County lawmen I spoke with say that there are a number of, number of factors that can determine where that money goes and how it's utilized. It depends on what kind of charge it was seized under. Game rooms are a topic Coastal Bend law enforcement are all too familiar with. But what happens when the raid is over? Nueces County Sheriff's Office Chief Deputy David Cook says that it can boil down to which agency is conducting the bust. The majority of the cases that Corpus Christi Police Department files is... Uh, for illegal gambling. But in the case of Nueces County. Game rooms we have been shutting down have been for a violation of the ordinance, which means they did not have a permit to operate the game room. Meaning that what happens to the money after a game room bust between these two agencies is very different. In the case of CCPD. They are able to seize the funds under what's known as Chapter 59. And they can take those funds and convert it to use for the, uh, for the police department. They put it in what's called a law enforcement trust fund. Put goes on to say that for the sheriff's department, all money seized on site is tagged for evidence with the intent always being for the owner to claim it. However, if that owner doesn't come forward, that money will eventually be declared abandoned and then it goes into the county's general fund. But conducting these busts also boils down to resources. And they hit it a little bit different than we do. Samantha Baldwin is the captain of CCPD's Narcotics and Vice Division. She says that due to the number of personnel she has on her team, deeper investigations can be conducted. I have 25 detectives that are essentially undercover detectives at any one point. I can put them undercover in different operations uh, on any of those, um, and they don't have that ability. Despite those differences in manpower, Baldwin says that partnership is crucial to cracking down on game rooms wherever they may be. But they're hitting them in the city just as much as they are in the county, uh, and we're working those back and forth. Josh Maxwell, 3 News.